Welcome back to my channel. Oh wait, I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> Today's video, as you can see from the title, I'm gonna be doing a little designer unboxing. If me purchasing luxury stuff offends you and like my money offends you and like how I spend it, then it's probably best you switch off because you're not gonna enjoy this video where I just talk about the shit that I bought for myself with my money. It's really not that exciting. So today we're gonna start off with the Chanel unboxing. I literally just picked this up from the airport. Chanel airport shopping is honestly one of the best places to shop because you get... I'm in my pajamas, guys. <laughs> <laughs> because you get the current season stuff at a discount, discounted price. I was gonna get that sandbag. It was like 10,000 How much was this? What sandbag? The one, oh, one. I don't know. Like, but I wanted it with the pearls. They only just recently opened up the Dubai shop. Wait, so, what? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. The Emir like Emirates Terminal. They never used to have it. So, this is my Chanel purchase. If you have been a follower of my channel for a while, you'll know. You'll probably know what this is. I am the kind of person that just keeps repurchasing this one damn item because they get ruined so quickly. I don't know what shoes I was wearing before I had these. You can't take that. Okay. Espadrille. Woo! Yeah, but the need <laughs> ones, they get beat. Have so you seen? Oh, oh my god, god the need ones? It's like, actually embarrassing walking around in the beat espadrilles. I was like, come on, they're not like, even Like, you know when the bottom bit gets like crusty yeah. and like, it can't be seen like that. And this. because I have a wide foot, my foot like, it doesn't like spill out of the shoe. It just like, it deforms the shoe. The quality is really deteriorated on these, but like you're paying for beach shoes, like let's be honest. Yeah. And sometimes they don't actually, they didn't actually display these. I'll put it in a little vlog. Thank you. So the new Chanel store just opened at the Dubai terminal, and I might or might not have just picked something up. I'm excited. And they also have the sunglasses that I want over here. But I'm not sure how much they are yet. If they're a good price, I will definitely get them. What do you guys feel about this bag? I really want a Doval tote, but I kind of want the one with the handle. Like that one, but not that one. Thank you, sir. I'm so Like my they don't actually display like the classic pieces, they'll display like the brand new season ones because they literally bring these out every season. But I honestly really just love the classic ones. I literally have now got three of these. What do you think of the new espadrilles? Like the back, like the sling back. Oh no, the mules, no. They're kind of like, they're something mum would wear. Yeah, I just, I'm not a mule fan. Why do these look higher? It's because you wear <gasps> yours. And then they go, they, yeah, they like they, erode. They flatten. Yeah. yeah, they literally erode. They're like Uggs. These are my new espadrilles. That was so good. Love these. Would you like to hand me Do you my like when you came here? Yeah, that's amazing. Okay, guys, so. Wait. Obviously, I've changed my clothes. I initially am. I initially planned on filming the unboxing on my new Dior bag, but if you guys watched that video, you would have known that the bag was fake and I felt like it deserved a video of its own. So that's another video on its own, which I uploaded. Um, but today, Elise, Elise and I, we're doing the, the continuation of the luxury haul unboxing video. And as she mentioned, she has an exciting bag to unbox herself. Although I do have another bag I wanna show you guys that I recently bought and it's not fake. We're gonna just, just do yours. I'm just still hurt over the situation. Okay. So, we'll get your sh honey. Get with the program. Okay. Okay, it's not even straight. So this is something I got from Shop My Vault. This is a brand that I work with a lot and they sell and buy vintage items and they are 100% authentic, unlike the Dior bag. I absolutely love the packaging. It's really pretty and pink. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I bought a few pieces from them, I bought a denim Dior saddle bag, which is vintage as well. And this is something I haven't seen on any other vintage websites before. They actually told me that they got this in stock and I was like, I need to see in real life. I haven't seen this yet. But here we go, here's the dust Wait, bag. Wait, what did you get? It's a dust bag. As you guys know, this is super in at the moment. I haven't seen this on any website. This is vintage Dior, 100% authentic. They do authenticate all their bags. And as you can see, it's got the dual buckle on it. It's quilted on both sides. 
This is something I definitely wear with like, a plain outfit. This is a super like statement bag. This is something that I wouldn't wear every day. But it is quite a casual bag. So it's something you can wear with like jeans, a tank top. Because it is pink. I personally don't own any pink bags yet. If you are interested in like selling anything that you've got that's designer, vintage, they will do that for you if you're looking for someone to sell. It's like really clean inside. They had a really nice Louis Vuitton Papillon. Papillon? Papillon? Uh, miroir bag in gold oh, and I was like yeah I want that but I think it's sold out okay as you guys can see this is the authentication card from Harrods you mean authenticity card oh yeah what do you mean from Harrods it says where it, the bag was bought okay so point of sale it was bought in Harrods on the 12th of March 2005 so this bag is from 2005 it's like it reminds thing. me of that Gucci bag remember mum had that Gucci bag Oh my god, yes. The it, one with the, yeah, the, the monogram. Yeah, the monogram. Over. I went ahead and I also bought another bag. Wait, this I actually it? unboxed because I wanted to wear it and I was also this. very annoyed on the day. This is my new Fendi Essential Peekaboo. It is honestly the cutest little bag ever. It's black with beige interior. What is it? Oh, <laughs> I got a free B from Dior, so I just stuck it on the oh bag. Oh my god, it's so cute. It looks cute, right? So I was like, oh, okay. Except for it's silver, it should be gold. I know, but still, it, just, it looks cute. So it's got this strap, it's got two pockets, it's got a pocket inside, a little zip pocket. I keep all my healthy snack bars in here. It Honestly, it fits everything. My mum has this in the larger size. I don't think my Dubai, London Dubai... <laughs> vlog when I was traveling is out yet but I actually went to Fendi and I saw that they had peekaboos the other kind of style of peekaboo and like python for like really good prices <gasps> oh my god they have peekaboos and the little baguette bag that I want so there's this tiny little baguette bag that I want to get it just came out and this one is stunning and I was like oh I really want another I want another one. I just think like these bags are so wearable. But honestly, the peekaboo style is just one of my favorite styles because it's a nice bag to wear to take you through the day as well as into the evening. So I decided to get this one because it's not as delicate. It's very sturdy. It's got these little gold feet at the bottom. And it's just a handy bag to just shovel your junk in and not feel like you're carrying a massive bag. I always limit myself to one medium-sized bag when I come on holiday and usually that is a Balenciaga or my Jumbo Chanel but I decided to switch up and use the peekaboo. Yes, this is something I bought at Harrods the other day. This is when we were doing our vlog. Doing our vlog, yeah. So this is what I bought on that day. We didn't actually vlog this whole thing but we went upstairs. It's definitely from Harrods guys. <laughs> no, it could be fake. You never know. So oh we God, went upstairs. I'm gonna get shit now after that bag. To the Australian section. <laughs> yeah, they have really Do you cute guys what I mean? section, I Australian section upstairs by the Meza Lounge, fourth floor. Opposite where, Maria Tash, literally. Yeah, right, literally Maria opposite Maria Tash. Maria Tash next to, what's that? Monica Vinida. And they've got some really nice brands like Love Shack Fancy. Um, do they have Zimmerman? I don't Keepsake. know. No, it's not that. Keepsake, Tula Rose. Uh, just all the cute like really revolve nice kind of brands. Really nice I didn't have any intention of buying a dress when I went in, to be honest with you. I just went in and I saw this, we were browsing and I saw it and I picked it up and I was like, oh my god, this is so cute. And then someone else was staring this at it and she was like, woman, oh, now I have to get it. <laughs> this woman would not stop staring at this dress. She was almost giving me evils because I was like holding this dress in my hand. She was there for a lot longer than I was. So anyway, I was like, I could have picked it up but she just didn't see it. Yeah. So in all fairness, like I won, but <laughs> I'm sure I there were thousands of others. This is the dress. This is a broidery anglais dress. Broidery? Broidery? Broidery. And this is from Keepsake. I, I do love this In an extra small. I will. I'm going to show you guys this on. But as you can see, super cute detailing in the front. It's got nice no, like... No, just sit down. We'll just okay. do a voiceover. Nice puffy sleeves. Little like flippy hem. Okay, anyway, so then I went to, I was at the Harvey Nichols sale in Dubai on the last day that I was leaving and I picked up two things from one of my favorite new brands. This being the shirt that I got, the first item. This is from a brand called Roxanda and I felt I like- love Roxanda. I really so felt nice. like Elise would be all over this, but like it. she hasn't mentioned anything so far. So. I like the sleeves. 
I fell in love with Roxanda when she came out with this collection of these beautiful sleeves. These are the classic Roxanda sleeves. And how they stay on? Let's show them how oh. she does it. It's a secret. I think it's, look, literally you can just be like, just like this and they'll be like puffy and really cute. And I felt like this is something cute that I could wear with just like, you know, jeans or leather pants, or just literally anything. And it just elevates an outfit from taking it from like a very boring silhouette yeah. to like something which is just a little bit more bougie. And I feel like it's something you can wear like day and night. Yeah, exactly. Like this I'm wearing it during the day, but if I paired it with like a cute little skirt, some heels, it could be a really nice evening outfit. So I was like, super cute. This is so cute. I love it. I'm living for it. I love little touches like this that just make an outfit. So this was the first item I got. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to wear this to death. I love it so much. Then I picked up another item from Roxanne. Yeah, it's this the same is... thing in black. Honey, it's not the same thing. It's a jacket. Oh, is this the front? Oh, I thought this was the back and I could have put up. Oh, wait, maybe. Oh my god, it's the same thing! <laughs> I'll be wearing this as a jacket. Guys, she goes, this is a jacket, but in real life, it's actually the same top with a, a zip up from the back. <laughs> oh my god, wait, why don't I just put it yeah, on? Can right you put now? it on? Really cool. I've been wearing this as a jacket. <laughs> so. This is how Lady's been wearing it as a jacket. It's not a jacket. I think it's a cute jacket. I mean, maybe it's designed to be worn both ways. I feel like it is. I mean, it's got darting in the back, so maybe not, but I'm sorry. Look, it's a cute jacket. So it's not bad as a jacket. I really love these sleeves. I'm living for let's, let's do a thingy. Okay, so that. <laughs> this does not feel, this is like definitely not a jacket. It doesn't feel right. And you're putting it up and I'll just down. No, you're doing it wrong! You're doing it wrong. <laughs> not I'm sorry, it looks like a damn jacket. Like it's a cute okay, turn it. This is the this is like literally the way she was okay. wearing it. <laughs> but this is originally like how it's supposed to be. Oh, this is ugly like this. It's the same thing as what you're wearing. Well, it doesn't look as nice. The one thing people say to me when they see me in public, I thought you were really tall. Oh my god, everyone says that to me when they no, they say the opposite. They're like, oh my god, you're really small. I'm like, yeah, honey. Pint size for a reason. People always think I'm like six foot. I make you look tall. I'm not. It's just because mm -hmm. Lady's like tiny. So this. <gasps> Give that to me right now. I knew it. Oh my god. This is my new Balmar blazer from Vestiaire. It is actually oversized. I don't know if it was meant to be oversized, but I really like it what oversized. Size is that? It doesn't I think big. it's a 40. Okay, it's way too big on your shoulders. Oh, it's a 42. Okay, yeah, we're good. Um, yeah, but look, it's cute oversized. Do you get me? Like a vintage like, Yeah, look. I do really like it. Oh my god, I just, I wish the buttons were gold. They kind of like, I mean, I can always get them dipped. I could pick this up in Camden for like 10, like 50 pounds. But I picked it up from Balmar. Okay, next I picked up something from the Outnet. It's a small package, but I honestly, I live for the Outnet. They currently have an amazing sale on. This is not sponsored. You guys know, if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I love the Outnet because they actually have the best prices on designer stuff that is brand new. So, today, I actually forgot what I bought. Oh, what'd you get for Mother of Pearl? I don't know, honey, let's see. How do you not know what you got? I just, I don't even- I don't understand. I'm not the kind of person that looks at brand names. Like if I like the style, I'll buy it. I just, if it's my of course then no. It's a mixture of fabrics. This is cotton jersey and then it's got cotton like muslin sleeves. Um, as you guys can see, I'm going through a bit of a phase with the puffy weird shit. This looks exactly like the same, but you're oh, shut up. Um, yeah, this is a size eight and it's quite small. This looks like a eight-year-old child's top. It's okay. Uh, but I feel like in summertime, it's nice to wear white. It's just easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. Okay, this is the mother of pearl one. I told you. It's short. I like the sleeves. I don't know about the length of the actual top though. Maybe with jeans, it would be a bit more casual. I don't know. I'm not feeling it, to be honest with you. I'm indifferent. I feel like this could look cute with jeans. The sleeves are a bit long, but what's not long on me? What is this? Okay, this is a plain white top from a brand called Iris okay? and Ink. Listen, honey, it's not how it goes. It wraps around. Oh, I thought that was an arm. I was like, what? 
Um, this is a plain white top from Iris and Ink, which is the outlet's own brand. It is, it looked cute on the website. I'm not sure how it's gonna look now. I'm interested to see, cause it's just got, is this is the tie around the front, tie around the back. Yeah, it's like, oh, I see, it goes through the hole. And... I actually quite like that. But I feel like it is a bit short. I don't like my knitting on show. Yeah, I don't like without like a but then it does have a tie, so that's like that's why I liked it. I was like, I can it's kind of just hide the vagina area. Vagine. Then this is a top from Current Elliot. What is this? Oh, oh. It's just very simple t-shirt with a cut out back. I don't like this. If you will, you could have made that at home. Just I probably grab could. a white t-shirt, make a hole in the back. You're done. Yeah, but like I like designer t-shirts because they're better quality than just average t-shirts. So this is just a plain white simple t-shirt. So it's 100% cotton, yes it is. Amazing. Okay, so this is the current Elliot t-shirt. I don't know how I feel about this. Wait, does it tie it back? I mean it does, but that just looks awful. I don't know, I feel like it might look better tied. Oh, why would I want to cover this? It's okay, I mean, I could just wear a sweat pants, leather pants, hot day without a bra because obviously with a bra it shows. Or maybe a nice cute. You have to be careful with those though because I feel like if you don't put them in the right temperature they shrink. Oh no, I give all my stuff so dry clean. Yeah. Like I've learnt my lesson, I just don't know how to do laundry. What the hell is this? Oh dear. Did you order this in Tibby? Yeah. It looks like a bonnet. <laughs> Oh, I didn't realize it's got like he said the oh. So this is a backless top from Tibby. Okay, so this is what the Tibby top looks like on. I removed my brassiere for this video. Oh my god, I didn't. Oh. What? I kind of like it, but I. I really like it. I really like it from the front, but the back's a bit like. I like the back because it's not super exposed. As you do, like, I do like it. I take that back. I do like it. Okay, so that concludes our little luxury haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked anything that we mentioned, then we'll try and put exact links or similar links down below for you guys. And I think Elise has a little discount code for you. I have a surprise discount code for you guys. So it is Angel Elise 20. You can get 20% off all designer things on Shop My Vault. That's so Angel Elise. Not Angle. <laughs> If you did like we'll this, we'll spell it out for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to follow us, then do check our social links down below. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and let us know what you thought of the items down below. Bye.